And hey folks, welcome to another traveling exploration edition of the Lando Show. And I'm along highway, I think it's 989 or 9 something, Louisiana State Highway, and it's north of Bayou, no wait, Bell River, and Morgan City. Morgan City is <laughs> about 15, 20 miles behind me. 15 miles, and up this way will take you to Bayou Sorrel and Bayou Pigeon, or for, spelled Pigeon, but it says Pigeon, I believe, and then um, and then it takes you to White Castle, and then, oh, points me on. Now to the left is a giant levee right here that goes along the Chapalaya Swamp Basin. Now the road's fixing to change surfaces on us here. And I call this the chocolate milkshake surface, because <laughs> it looks like it. And this road's very narrow and very treacherous up here, but it just got uh, it converted from Highway 70 going north Morgan City with shoulders to this little narrow thing. I didn't want to go down Highway 70 because they got all that crap going on with the, the sinkhole in our very own parish or something. This is a very dangerous curve right here. Oh my God, here we go. You gotta watch out on this. Oh look, they put those triangle things on here. Very handy. I'm glad they put those up. Cause look, you could have ran head on to that that person there. I once the first time I drove down this road, they didn't have them, and uh, <laughs> I, I actually went over in the other lane. It was that big yellow car I had, that Oldsmobile. Well, this is a very beautiful road. I love it. It's quiet. No traffic. There goes a truck way up there on the levee. But this levee is the barricade to the big Chafalaya Swamp Basin. Uh, it's huge. And you will get lost in it. <laughs> it's AKA the point of no return. And to the right, well, it's more swamp that goes back in here. It's so beautiful to explore these swamps, man. If I had a boat and a navigator, I'd go explore it all. But I love this road, man. It is so cool. It winds through the swamp, or the thing right here. And it goes up to a dead end. Well, actually, it, it, it curves. It goes this way to a little ways up here to toward White Castle. And there you hit State Highway 1 that goes by our house. And it's just pretty cool. Um, and there's a lot of places up here. And then it splits off another road comes off of this, it turns to dirt, and I don't feel like getting the truck dirty to show you. Uh, pretty cool places to fish. And here comes a pasture. But it's so, I love it. I miss all the roads like this back home in Texas. They go through hills and things. <laughs> it's a beautiful day out. One bad thing, a bug sitting in the windshield. I gotta clean all that shit off. See, I, I just love roads like this that just go on and on and on. Moment of silence. See how peaceful it is. I love it, man. Gives you a chance to come out here and open your head up. Yeah, they keep cattle here. Every other time I come down here sometimes, they have cattle there. They got the fence electrified. <laughs> I think we're I think we're fixing to enter um Iberville Parish. We're in St. Mary right now. We're fixing to enter Iberville. Uh let's see if I'm right. I, I know it is. Is it just parish after parish around here? That's Iberia Parish. Thought it was Iberville. But I think you do enter, eventually enter that too. Here comes the truck. Sometimes I come down here and I see no cars. <laughs> but that's where this thing goes. And I'm going to cut it off to say batteries. But look at that. Now it turns from steel barricades to a concrete wall. But it's just miles and miles of swamps right there. And if, if you were to drive a little dirt road right here, this would eventually take you to I-10 
which I believe is another 50 miles up this thing, man. Maybe 60, maybe 70, somewhere in there. But this road comes to an end way up here, and it turns to a dirt road. Uh, and then you go up. Well, actually, it splits off. And I don't think I'm going to have enough recording to get to that. I thought I'd just show you a little tour of this place. Uh, we're heading north still. But it just goes up here. And this road asphalt, it curves off and it becomes a, just a regular road. Paris Road. And then it turns to dirt. And then I think it, you head up to this levee right here. And if you stay on it, it eventually takes you to I-10. Probably take you two hours to get there, man, because it's dirt. <laughs> okay, till next time.